Welcome to my world. kitchen we're gonna do an olive garden copycat dish we're gonna do chicken anoshi very easy to do five ingredients or less all from the dollar tree let's get cooking come on from the dollar tree the anoshi the chicken if you can find the larger can or two small cans will do just fine a white sauce and any brand of their mixed vegetables and if you don't have a freezer department, don't worry. None of this came from that area. And an onion from your pantry shelves. The recipe does call for chicken stock, but I don't use boxed broth unless it's gifted to me or canned. I'm going to use a bouillon cube. And that is chicken. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of black pepper. And just a teaspoon of salt. So the oils don't splash up in your face. And we're going to do this with an onion. I have a small one here and get rid of the peel. Always keep an eye on your fingers and use clean hands. I'm gonna do things a little differently than other recipes do, depending on my family's needs and likes. For instance, with the fried rice, I will not put eggs in them because my kids will eat eggs but not mixed in with anything. And they tore up the rice, it was delicious. oven or skillet. Season it with a dash of salt. Then you're going to take whatever oils you use and add in about a tablespoon of oil. Cooking oil, extra virgin, whatever you guys have. And before we add in any of the ingredients or the spices, we're going to throw the onions in and get them caramelized. On. And I'm going to use my right front burner, turn it to about 8, just to get it heated up. I always make sure that the burner turns colors. You're going to dunk your onion on in. Once it's heated up, we're going to reduce the heat to about 3 or less to let the onions slowly caramelize. Then when all the onions and the oils within the Dutch oven start bubbling up, you're going to add in your black pepper, your bouillon cube, and your garlic. They're going to turn a nice caramelized color and become translucent. I can hear them. I'm going to turn them down to almost two. It's starting to change to a nice translucent Warm, caramelizing, beautiful. I have my chicken bouillon cube. I'm going to place it in and it'll dissolve right into the oils and become yummy and delicious. I'd rather do this than use boxed any day, but I will use box if it's gifted. Black pepper, three teaspoons. The magic number three with most of my dishes. Always do it to your taste though. This is our taste. Garlic salt. 
three teaspoons. I'm going to give that bland cube a little bit of help. And mix it around with everything at the bottom of the pan here. And the first thing we're going to dump in is the white sauce that I picked up from the Dollar Tree by Prego. They have such awesome name brands at the Dollar Tree, bigger sizes. Got a six pack of water for a buck twenty-five plus deposit and tax. Can't go wrong. Family size toothpaste and shampoos. Good name brands that aren't watered down. Awesome cleaners. I mean, it's endless at the Dollar Tree. That's why I shop there often. Continue mixing. You don't want any of the solid pieces of the bullion cube. You want to make sure it's completely dissolved within the oils. This is going to be amazing. I've never had no she before. And I've never made this dish before. And I want to make it user friendly. I'm going to take your classic Alfredo. This is the kind of white sauce that we prefer. Rather than buying expensive heavy cream and all the ingredients that it calls for. This is a great way to go. Add it in. Then I'm going to add water in it to get all that goodness out. Go ahead and dump that water in a little bit at a time. Then you're going to mix everything. Look at how awesome this looks. Before we go over to the other counter, and rinse our vegetables and open up our chicken, we're going to add in the noshi. Dollar Tree Friendly Copycat from Olive Garden Chicken Noshi. Perfect. Potato Noshi by Pampa. Never used it before. I've seen a lot of tubers here. Try it, and I wanted to give it a go. Clouds of puffs, they describe it as. Always keep an eye on the freshness state. Dump it on in, and this will be in my next Dollar Tree Empties video coming up next week. Huge assortment of empties this time, from cleaning products to food and everything in between. Mix it well. Oh, it smells amazing. Let's go over to the other counter and rinse out the mixed vegetables. If you have frozen vegetables, I would put them in before the noshi to give them time to... You would hope that all the cans pop from the top, but they still like to do it this style. I'm going to get this open. Pop open the can here. And I'm going to drain it because you don't need any of its juices. I'm going to give them both a rinse. And strain it. Tons of carrots in here as I suspected. It said shredded carrots. This will be just as good. Always shake so you don't spill on the floor and risk falls. The mixed vegetables. Now we're going to take care of the chicken and add it on in. Give it a quick mix. Low and slow this is going to cook. Cooking time is 25 minutes and it's less than 5 minutes. Let's go ahead and drain it. The little red food catchers also came from the Dollar Tree. My family is big fans of the Dollar Tree. Drain it well, or if you save it, go ahead and save it. Now we're going to add it into the Dutch oven. We dump it on in, making sure all the chicken came out. Then you're going to mix it. Creamy chicken noshi from Olive Garden, Dollar Tree style. We're going to cover the Dutch oven 
for about 15-20 minutes and let this continue simmering. I'm going to let it cook for 15-20 minutes. It's been simmering for about 10. I'll let the spoon rest on the side there. And with six minutes left, we're going to check it. And don't worry about the bottom of the Dutch oven. This one comes clean every single time. Oh my god, it smells incredible. I heard these little potatoes taste like a little cloud in your mouth. Cannot wait to try it. And you didn't need to buy all that heavy cream. Just the Prego Alfredo. And it thickened up perfectly. Let's go ahead and put some in a bowl and take a look at them into the bowl. This is going to feed a flock. Creamy chicken noshi copycat from Olive Garden. Look at that. Of it in my bowl. Look at how awesome that looks. It's going to feed at least six people. Peas and noshi, but I use mixed vegetables to be frugal and thrifty. I'm gonna give it a try. I've never had this before or made it, and so I'm so pleased with myself and very excited. It's going to be hot. I love potatoes. Mmm. Oh my god. This is really good. Definitely go to the Dollar Tree and pick up the ingredients. I'll make sure it's just listed in my description box down below.